So this is our active state. If we remove this, this is our hover state. If we remove this, this is our default state. You'll see that we have our press state, which is our active, and we have our hover state. So we have a hover state, we have our active state. We have a hover state and our active state. Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at applying CSS styles to your Adobe Illustrator file. So what we have here are basic social icons that we're going to apply various CSS states for uh, hover and active, which is actually press. So what we have here in our layers, you can see that we have a folder, which is just our feature icons. That's uh, the group container that we're calling it. And we have each individual icon denoted. Now, the very fast way to create CSS styles is that first we have to create another layer, apply the tag to that folder. So this basically now will encompass all our CSS styles. And for each style that we're creating, so assuming that we want to work with our Facebook icon first, which is our FB icon, what we can do is just simply copy that layer to our CSS styles folder. Now, the name of this will have to change to reflect the style that we're applying. So we're going to call this style FB. And if we look inside, it just has compound pass, so we're OK with that. And Let's assume, you know, that we want to give it a hover state. So this is going to be our hover for FB and for hover, uh, let's say we want this red. Now, to apply this style directly to the FB icon, what we're going to have to do is use another layer tag. And we're going to have to apply the style. So the style we're using is FB. And this will now directly relate to the hover state that we have here. Now, there will be an error in the output if I was to export this directly. And this is because we didn't create a base class for FB. We kind of just give it a hover state only. So I'm just going to correct this mistake really quick. Uh, let's just call this FB. So now what we have is we have a default state for our FB icon. And we also have a hover state uh, when you reach over it. Now, the order that you put this in is irrelevant. It will work either way in CSS. But just for visual purposes, we're trying to maintain exactly how it would look in the end. Now, because we're using CSS images here, this itself, the default, no longer actually needs to be the correct image. This could be a square uh, or whatever image you'd like. It will simply now apply the styles that we've rendered within our CSS styles folder. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and export this. And then we're going to test the output. Now, because we're using CSS images, we want to ensure that we have this enabled. Let's just go ahead and export. Now, if we take a look at our output, you'll see that we have our default images but we've applied a rollover state to only one. So you'll see very quickly we were able to give an Illustrator file a basic rollover effect. So let's go ahead and let's apply it to these as well. Now you'll note that what we have is we did apply a CSS style tag to the icon. So let's just do that to each icon and let's assume we're going to give it style names reflective of the icon name. So this would be R RSS. And Let's call this one TW. Now, a common mistake is that you may apply a CSS style to an element, but you did not apply a base style. And uh, for testing purposes, let's just see exactly what would happen in the output. The problem is, because there is no base style defined, uh, what you might get is an incomplete element. So if we go and we refresh the page, you'll notice that the images are missing. And this is because we did not define the base style for each of those. So what we can do quickly is, uh, similar to what we did with the Facebook icon, we can simply just copy each. And remember, we have to now change the name reflective of the CSS class name that we gave. So we gave RSS and we gave TW. So we need to ensure that we have these names, similar to the style that we've applied here. So let's go ahead, let's save this, and let's re-export. So if we take a look at the output, now we have the base classes for each of these images that we've uh, basically created in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and let's apply other uh, rollover effects to each. So we have a hover for our Facebook icon. Let's give a hover for Twitter. 
Uh, let's make this somewhat bluish. And let's give a hover for RSS. And let's make this somewhat greenish. Okay, so let's simply save this and let's re-export. Okay, and if we refresh our page, you'll see that we have our base styles, but now we have various rollover states or hover states for each element that we've added. Now we can go further and we can apply active states as well. So let's go ahead. So if we go back to our file, what we can do is we can now simply apply an additional state. Uh, let's call this one active. And let's give this a color tone of, you know what, let's give them all the same color tone. Uh, so let's copy this. And the last one is RSS. Okay, so we can now save this and re-export. Now we can simply refresh the page and you'll see that we have our rollover states with each one or our hover state. Our active state did not denote, so let's go ahead and let's check this. Now, a common reason for this to occur is the layer order that we're using. And what we did here was that we used an actual reverse order. Now, always remember that the, and this is an actual common error that happens. So this is why I did it in this order. What the plugin does is it works in reverse. So it uses basically the bottom layer and it goes up. So what we'd have to do is reorganize our layers so that it has our default state first, our hover state, then our active. So let's just go ahead and do that for each. So this is just simply a matter of dragging your layer order. Let's save this. Let's re-export. we refresh our page you'll see that we have our press state which is our active and we have our hover state so we have a hover state we have our active state we have a hover state and our active state so again a very quick fix uh, if you notice that your CSS states are not working in the order that you expected it's likely to be your layer order always remember the plugin works bottom up so it will start and you'll need to have your default state first then your hover then your active but you'll see that very quickly and easily we had our icons let's just go back and take a look so this is our active state if we remove this this is our hover state if we remove this, this is our default state. So quickly and easily, we created various CSS states for our Illustrator design when exporting to HTML.